Hiya, Lottie here, welcome back. So today we're going to start working on the Ringbound journal um, that we were planning on making for the Happy Mail Month Challenge event type thingy my bob. Um, so like I said, I still want to make the journal and I'll just do it as a giveaway. Um, thank you all for your lovely comments. Um, I really appreciate them. They definitely made me feel better about not finishing the, um, the event. Um, so thank you for that. Uh, it definitely cheered me up. So thanks very much for taking the time to do that. Um, so I'm going to be using a Amazon packaging. So Amazon obviously have various packagings. Um, like envelopes, folders. They also have the other folder where I've made um, different things with that as well. But I could not find one. So obviously you've got your envelope which you could use. I personally wouldn't. Like I said, this is the first time I've made one of these, but it doesn't seem very sturdy for the type of journal we're going to be making. If you were making a normal bound journal, you could definitely do that. And you would get that really brilliant crinkle effect sound from your cover, which obviously we all love. But I'm going to be using this one as it seems to be the strongest one. This one you could use. I would suggest if you were going to use it, that you would double it up so instead of just using like this you would actually glue it and use two of these to make it a little bit thicker just so that you've got a nice sturdy base for your your cover this is not going to be a tutorial it's just going to be a craft with me because i have no idea what i'm doing <laughs> um, i will link Laurie's video down below that inspired this um she has a two or three part video where she actually shows you how to make it properly and that is definitely something that I will need to go back and watch in between making this. Um, but yeah, if you want like a full on tutorial, definitely check that out. As this is my first time making a ring bound journal. So yeah, I'm probably going to make mistakes and then learn from them. So don't kind of copy along with me because I can see this going wrong in several, <laughs> in several parts. So I'm just going to grab my ruler and my little tiny craft knife and I'm going to just take it to see this part here um, since it's got like a flap right there and I'm not making sure that it's like straight or anything because the flap should keep me straight. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to line this up with the edge here. And cut this part off. So I hope you guys are all doing well. And that you're excited for the giveaway. I Obviously if this turns out totally rubbish, I will not be doing a giveaway. <laughs> and we can do something else. Um, but hopefully, hopefully it doesn't. Hopefully I can actually pull it off. I'm just going to literally pull this apart now. And we have a big, big piece now. So I'm going to kind of fold it in half. Or attempt to anyway. Yeah. It does not want to fold. half point there we go possibly Dude, that's your home. okay so I'm not going to make my journal quite that big so let me think I don't know how big I want to make it but obviously it has to be within this diameter size wise so I may just make it like the size of this flap white. I might just use that as my kind of go to size. So I'm going to just again line that up right to the edge there. And pop that away. And then I'm going to. 
attempt to keep this straight as I cut the middle. So I'm just using the grid on my board here. theory should now be the same size. That one's a slightly skew with on that side. So I just need to tidy that little edge up there. I'll line this up. We now have our base. I'm not going to stick solely to scraps for this. Um, I do have a bunch that I'd set aside already, um, and I just kind of put them in a box. This is actually a monster can box that I've just kind of stuck stickers all over, and I use it for storage. Um, so this is like pages I found in my scrap bin that were decent sized. So I just kind of shoved them in here so that I could use them whilst making these. So I've got a couple of DigiKit pages here. So I'll just put those to the side because I can definitely use this. This is like a parchment print type paper. Some music paper. Um, this might be an Edith Holden page, I think it might be. Um, and it's a decent size. Uh, these are pretty sturdy pages um, and they're nice cream coloured. I've got a couple of better sized ones because I've grabbed some um, fabric paper, cotton rag paper. Um, this is again a print of like old style paper, some tea dyed, and then I do have these which were part of um, like ephemera folders that I'd made, so they've got like a little pocket here, I need always to tidy up this and I might even cut that part there off, but the pages, I really like the paper so I kept, I kept them, so I could even pop one or two of those in, because like I said I really like Paper, so I might keep that one because it's not with the label on it. Um, where's the one with the little bird? That one. Um, so I'm just kind of grabbing, no real rhyme or reason as to why I'm grabbing these pages, just I like them. This is really nice paper as well actually I'll grab that and this one's like an end page I think from a, a book and it's got beautiful sketched daffodils and things like that on it some more vintage music paper handmade paper with some flowers another digi print Or oh, a music paper, book page, um, I just put that in as well and just have it as a shorter page. like from an old planner, another tasting page here, and a couple there. Craft page, map, I think we'll call it 
outfits for that at the moment. And I'll just pop these to the side and we can start working on the cover. Um, oh, this is kind of the pages that I'm going to go with. It's so kind of builds. That one's got glue on it actually, so no. Um, just to kind of build the inside. I'm hoping that I will find my paper punch before we start doing that. Rather than my one hole punch. Oh, and I'd also grab this paper as well actually. Oh. So this is like the colouring in page that I've tea dyed. So I'll put that to the side. Let me put my little lid on this before I have an accident. And then these were some papers that I had decorated for journals and then I ended up taking them out because they got too big. So they've got like lace trims attached to them. So I thought I would grab some of those and obviously it can be cut down and it's on really nice parchment paper. This was for my actual A4 sized journal, um, which is why they're taped together. Um, and this is some pages where I've glued napkin down. So I'm going to pop those to the side as well. Obviously they'll need to be trimmed down to fit in. Um, and then this is pretty heavy duty cardstock as well. But I liked this, so that's why I grabbed that for the front cover. Because um, I wanted to kind of incorporate that if I could. And then I also grabbed some vintage music paper for the cover. And these are some vintage um, book pages. So I thought they could get used because I've cut things out of them, but they're still really nice pages. Um, and then another larger, thicker um, music page. So I put those to the side and that will be um, what we use for the pages. I'm going to grab this because it's got really nice graph paper. And this will be us for our cover. I also wanted to have a look through oh, some vintage wallpaper prints. So I've recently just purchased a bunch of um, vintage wallpaper digi kits. So I thought we could possibly pop some of those on. If I can grab them all. So, oops, sorry. And I've also got some vintage later pages. And some vintage lace and doily print type thingamabobs that we could possibly incorporate into the front cover. Um, and yeah, that's it. So I've got these sort of doilies and lace trim um, and napkin type dealios. I really like this one and this one. So I thought maybe we could use one or two of those. And I could even put some of these in as actual pages because these are a decent size. So I'll just pop that on top of that pile there. So I've just kind of grabbed the three ones that I like the best. And like I said, I've got these vintage letter prints as well. Um, a couple of them are just running out of ink, so they've got like little purple. <laughs> little purple bits through it but that's fine and then I've got these other larger prints so these are from um oh my gosh I'll try to link her channel down below um it ends with EXO I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head now and some of her 
some of these well the majority of them are also from her AM channel a eh, Etsy shop sorry and then these are from Amity Bloom the top ones I cannot remember where I got these ones but I will try to link all of the kits down below um, if not the kits then the shop um, because that one was a while ago but I should be able to list the kits for the um, wallpaper prints and I think this is four kits one of them is Amity Bloom and then the other three are that other lady's <laughs> and then this one I got from a, a channel I was watching on YouTube and I really liked the the kits that she was using. Anyway, so I've got some music paper and I think I'm going to use this for the inside of the covers. So obviously I want to cover up this completely. Um, I don't want it to be showing at all. So I think what I'm going to do is on the inside I'll have vintage music paper and then I can maybe add a pocket or something to that later. Um, and then on the outside we'll have some sort of decoration. Um, I may need to stop talking and put a voice over at certain bits because we are in the summer holidays now. So my kids are, they're on the loose. They're loose about the house. And they are loud. They're downstairs having breakfast at the moment, so that's why I'm able to do this. <laughs> Um, does anyone have plans for the summer? We've got holidays or days out. We're doing days out, which is normally what we do. Um, I have a um, pretty bad health condition, so and having days out is just easier to plan than a holiday away. Um, so I've got good days and bad days, so it's just easier to plan the odd day rather than a full week away. Um, so we're going to the time capsule in a couple of weeks for my daughter's birthday day out. Her daughter, my daughter's birthday is in December so we do a day out for her in the summer so that it kind of breaks up the year for her and my son his birthday is actually due in the summer so we do his birthday day out as well. Um, soon after hers and that we're going to the beach so they both pick their own days out <laughs> um, but we're also planning like Sea World um, we didn't make it to Sea World last year so we wanted to do that this year um, we usually go to the zoo or the safari park um, and there's two zoos near us there's also a little farm that's got like a petting zoo nearby that we want to go to um, and obviously I'd like to get to the beach a couple of times and I'm going to go fishing and we've been looking for a little lake because we've got one nearby but it doesn't have any boats I don't know how you get little pedal boats and stuff like that that you can rent for an hour or whatever and they're usually like shoot like a big swan or something they don't have that for some weird reason, so we want to find one nearby that has the boats where you can go out into the water. Um, so we've been looking for that. So if you're in Scotland and you know a place, it would be very helpful if you told me where it was and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, just days out is what we do. What do you do? Um, so I'm going to cut this. I don't know actually, I might cut just a little bit off and then wrap it round actually so that it's hiding that rough edge. That's what I'm gonna do. Ah, that's breaking. <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave about half an inch. mess because it was cracking on me. Um, shut that in that box actually. I'm just going to 
with these edges. And I'm going to wrap it around, and that way it's going to hide that rough edge, that core you can see. I cannot say that word. Core. I'm not going to try. <laughs> but you know what I mean. It's just going to make it a little bit nicer and cleaner. Obviously, you don't have to do anything that I'm doing. Um, like I said, this is not a tutorial at all. It is just a craft with me. Because um, I wanted to really, I really wanted to give this a try. So I've never made one of these um, journals before, but I've seen Lori make them a few times and they always look really cool when she makes them. Mine's is probably going to be a total disaster. <laughs> but um, So yeah, if you're looking to learn, do not learn from me right now. I am not doing a tutorial. This is purely a craft along and like I said, I will link Lori's um, video below. I'll only link the first video because obviously you can find the next one that will be right after each other. Um, so I'm just pushing those corners in. Just like I would if I was making any other kind of cover for a journal. And I've actually cut that side a little bit too small. But oh well. I might be able to put some bit corners or something on it. Have you ever made one of these journals? What is your favourite kind of journal? Do you have like a go-to that you make? Um, or do you just try a different one every time? Or do you just buy your journals? Do you not like to make your own? Let me know. My go-to journal is generally a pamphlet stitch bound journal um, and I usually do a hidden binding for that. Although my last journal I didn't and I actually really liked how the pages lay. Um, my current journal I didn't make. My friend Laurie made that for me and I absolutely love it. It is just beautiful. I love the way she's bound the pages in individually as well. Um, she's not done like a pamphlet stitch, she's done separate stitches, which is pure genius in my opinion, because if one comes out, the rest of them don't. Whereas obviously, when you're doing a pamphlet stitch, if your thread for whatever reason breaks, which I've never had happen, but theoretically if it did break, your whole book is now compromised. Whereas with hers, if one thread breaks, she's got the other ones tied individually, which is very clever. So, I'm just making sure I've got my glue right along that spiny like, edge as well, um, just so that I know that it's definitely going to stay nice and taut and I'm using my Uhu for this. Obviously you can use double sided tape or whatever your heart desires. I like the Uhu because it's very similar to the Fabri-Tac um, and it dries really quickly and it doesn't have the same smell as the Fabri-Tac. The Fabri-Tac is very, very pungent. <laughs> it's got a very strong smell to it. Um, but you kind of put up with it because of how good a glue it is. Um, whereas this one, it's got a, smite, a slight smell to it, but nothing in comparison to the like the Fabri Tac and the Three in One and Fabri Fix, which I don't understand why they've named it so many names when it's just the same thing. Um, but yeah. That's why I kind of moved on to the Uhu. I, I still use the fabric. I've got like a spare bottle there that I go to when I run out of my Uhu. Um, but this is definitely my preferred glue now because it doesn't have that extra strong smell. I much prefer the bottle from the Fabri Tac though. Um, the Uhu comes in like a, a tube, like a toothpaste 
tube style bottle and I'm not a fan of that at all. So here are our inside covers. Let me help fire it very well. And I think I'm going to go ahead and ink those. So I'm going to use my walnut stain to ink these. Because I think I'm going to make this quite grungy. And there we go. So I don't know if it's in the camera or not, but I have my sewing machine off to the side as well. And that way I can add some stitching to the decorations and stuff. So... Top. So I'm actually going to write that because I will forget which way is up. And that way, when it comes to adding stuff, I've definitely got it round the right way. Right, cool. Um, so now, I think I'm going to have this as my front cover because I like the um, paper and it's called the Enchanted Forest. So I might go for a sort of woodland theme for this. Um, this book, this journal. So let's see here, let me just kind of have a rummage and see what ones of these I want to use. So since I said forest, I can grab that one. don't know they're all just so pretty gonna go with those ones and then kind of dwindle it down from there. Just put them in a wee sack. This is actually for like a laptop or something but it was on sale for like three pounds or something. I was like that's perfect for like digital stuff and the like. So I really like this ribbon here. Which is so pretty. So I think we will start with the front cover. So we pop that to the side just now. And I have no idea what I'm doing. Not a clue how I want to decorate this. really like this. Let's see. I want to just have that down first and then build on that. I think I do. So I'm going to
so I've just grabbed my scraps or snippets rather because I'm I'm struggling. Um, I don't know what else I want to do to the front. I know I want to add some textiles to the front, but I also think I might want to add a little frame or something. So I've got my little booklet here. And I've got a kind of obsession with frames lately. So I've got I've got a bunch of them. I think I might want like a little dainty one because I don't want to take too much of this I don't want to cover up too much of it and that's what I'm kind of bumping up against is the fact that I don't want to hide too much of this beautiful wallpaper but at the same time I don't want that to be the only thing on the page if I'm making sense at all I will be surprised so I've not used <clears throat> I've not used these little frames before. They're very intricate, which I like. I like that one. They've got like a kind of sheen to them as well, which is cool. It's almost like glitter, but less annoying. I think I'm going to put the rest of these away and then have a look at my other frames that are slightly less intricate and dainty. So I've got these ones here. I definitely want to use something like this, not like this. So. I like the sort of gothic design. I think a circle one is going to be, or an oval, sorry, is going to be the best shape. Mm, I don't actually like that as well. pouch here of like vintage photo images so I've got these but I think they're going to be way too big for the frames so I'm just going to pop those to the side She's just too dang and mm. I'll bring it up closer so you can actually see. How gorgeous! Look at all the little flowers around her in her pram or her bed. I'm not really sure which one it is. But she's just absolutely adorable. So I think I need to cut a little bit off the top. So just there. I love these little bags. They actually hold so much considering the size of them. They don't look like they would hold a lot, but they actually do. So, pop these away. I 
and if you're wondering I got this on AliExpress and it is just brilliant. I've got three of them now. This was the first one I bought and I've now got another two because they're just amazing for storing stickers and things like that. So let's see here. I mean, I probably don't need to do this but I'm going to add a tiny bit of glue to the frame here. Okay. And this can go there, roughly. I kind of want to have some lace and stuff underneath so I had to tie these together because I was going to ruffle like make ruffles out of this lot um, and I'm just going to kind of untie it now Okay, so I think I'm actually going to have to put this aside <laughs> before I end up going insane. I cannot figure out what I want to do through the front cover just now. Uh, so far I've added this um, handkerchief snippet um, piece <laughs> and that is about it. So I think I'm going to have to come back to that later and decide what I want to do to it because I cannot I cannot. I just can't do it. Um, so I've just popped that to the side for now. Um, I think that maybe this is too small, but I just can't figure out what I want to do with it. So I'm going to move on and I'm going to put the back cover on. So we say I don't want the same cover. So I'm thinking either this one or this one. I think I'm going to go with this one because I really love that bow. That's just gorgeous. So I'm going to pop this lot to the side. And let's see here. So I want that bow and that flower. what I'm going to do is take my pencil and just draw a rough length a rough guide rather and then I'm going to cut on the inside of that pencil line I could probably use Pritt stick for this part, but I'm not going to. Um, but in theory, that should fit in there nicely. So I might actually need to take this 
smudge in here. What did I do wrong? There you are. I'm actually just going to take the tiny little piece off. It's not very straight the way I've cut it. But I don't think the board is particularly straight anyway, so I think that's okay. Again, we take the tiniest little bit off the top here. around the edges before I glue it down and that way if I get any glue seepage it's not going to stop me being able to ink it. So, let's see here. I have no idea how long this video is at the moment so I apologise if it's long. Um, with that, I will do voiceovers going forward if I can't get a minute <laughs> where it's quiet. But I will try to do chatty videos as much as I can. Obviously, it means that I get less in the video. So, let me know what you would prefer down below if you would prefer a longer chatty video or if you would, eh, sorry, uh, yeah, a longer but with less in it chattier video or a shorter with more in it <laughs> voiceover video um, let me know obviously there's bits that I've went quiet whilst uh, filming here so I've just put music or whatever over the top of that just making sure I've got it the right way up um, but it's hard for me to concentrate and talk at the same time So that is our back cover. And I'm just going over that edge again just to kind of help blend them together. And again, I'll probably put a pocket or something on the, the inside um, of the front of uh, the back cover as well. Oh, just got a weird hiccup there. But let me see here. Just, I think I'm going to use this lace piece. Is my pocket. give up. <laughs> I'm done for today because I am just going to sit here and push stuff and push stuff about and not decide on absolutely anything. So this is our inside covers. 
and this is our front and back cover. So, I mean, well done, okay. <laughs> um, obviously, I'm determined to fit that little girl in somewhere, but I definitely think she's too small for the front cover. I think I need a bigger focal point for the front cover. Um, I kind of like her on the front, the inside pocket, but I'm kind of trying to be mindful of the holes. So I think the, one of the holes will probably be roughly about here, so I don't want to place her down and then she ends up with a hole going through her. So I'm thinking more maybe along this end here, but again, I'm just kind of pushing things around to haven't made up my mind on pretty much anything. Um, but yeah, we've made a start <laughs> and I really love the vintage wallpapers. I'm definitely going to be using those throughout for decoration and pages and things like that. So hopefully um, I'll be able to go away and play about and figure out a front cover for next time. And then we can start putting pages in this bad boy. But I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you're well. And I will see you soon. Take care and God bless. Bye.